for instance, the to be or not to be speech becomes. Hamlet is like scrawling just to be and not to be on a piece of paper and Ophelia asks him about it. And he asks, is it better to suffer through life, to deal with all the crap thrown at you, or to fight against your problems by ending your life? To die is to sleep. That's all. And by sleeping, we escape everything that tortures us. That's the dream then, isn't it? The perfection of nothingness. And then Ophelia adds, when you sleep, it's not nothingness. You dream. And then Hamlet goes on, there's the catch, huh? When you die, who knows what dreams might come? What's in the afterlife, if there is one? That's the scary part. That's what keeps us living our long, painful lives. Who would put up with the heartache and the injustice of life when one could just get a knife and end it? Except for the fear of what comes next. Fear of something worse makes us too scared to do anything. I do want to add, I really like that, because a lot of the theme of Hamlet to begin with is how he keeps putting off what he has to do and the more he puts things off that's what makes everything get worse and worse so that shows that in a way even the original doesn't necessarily there is also a song which apparently has a line about being easier to play on than a pipe that comes from a line in the original where um, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are trying to get, you know, information out of Hamlet, as they're doing, and Hamlet comes over with a recorder and asks Guildenstern to play, and Guildenstern says that he cannot, I cannot command to any utterance of harmony, I have not the skill. Hamlet says, why look you now, how unworthy a thing you make of me. You would play upon me, you would seem to know my stops, you would pluck out the heart of my mystery. You would sound me from my lowest note to the top of my compass. And there is much music, excellent voice, in this little organ. Yet cannot you make it speak? Do you think I am easier to be played on than a pipe? Call me what instrument you will. Though you can fret me, you cannot play upon me. I guess I didn't need to read the whole thing, but I really like that. And I... I come very close to quoting it also during the year when kids start to learn to have their recorder unit at school, and so everyone at the rec center has recorders. And the other main complaint I have is just because they took one of my favorite lines and really kind of oversimplified it, but that's just a personal thing. In the scene where Hamlet is getting ready for the sword fight with Laertes, he says, you know, he thinks something's wrong. And Horatio says, well, if you think that, then, you know, listen to your instincts. I am not going to finish this in time. Horatio says, you know, listen to your instincts. I'll go. I'll give an excuse for you. I'll say you're not fit. And in the original, Hamlet says, not a wit. We defy augury. There is a special providence in the fall of a sparrow. If it be now, tis not to come. If it be not to come, it will be now. If it be not now, yet it will come. The readiness is all. And that turns into... No, I'm prepared for whatever. Que sera sera, you know? Let's just do this thing. And... I don't know. I feel like there's so much more said than just that. Maybe not. Maybe I just like that line and I'm biased, but there you go.